called paspasha paspasha is the pref prefix prefix beginning introduction because that's the first arika let me explain to you the mahabhashya is called mahabhashya because it's not simply the bhashya it is the great bhashya so when you talk about bhashya you talk about mahabhashya paspashanika ahnika the bhashya has been structured in 84 day sessions so like we have a an 84 day uh, workshop and each day has one lesson and that lesson is named ahnika 1 day session 1 ahna ahna is day ahnika is that which happens in a day so the first day session the second day session, the first second third fourth fifth sixth eighth eighty fourth paspashanika spash see you are asking about the meaning of paspashanika spash bandhan sparshayo in the sense of bandhana and sparsha the verb root spash is it is tatra sparshanam granthanam tying up granthanam could also mean bunching up the ideas together so it doesn't have to be with a needle and thread etc etc with your mind you can pull up the ideas put them together that could be some kind of abstract text but that would be granthanam that is where you get the idea of grantha yeah तस्माद यंग लुकी करता ही पचार दिया चे। I want to explain it to you because we have not reached that point. Because I have to explain to you what panchmi means in the Asadhyayi. Young Luki, I have to explain to you what saptami means. करता ही पचार दी आच। पचार दी आच। आच। Of the pachadi is a special kind of art. Paspasha it is the preface. Vyakti ante vitpad dente shabda ane naithi shabda gyanu janakam. So see, this is such a vast field. What is the purpose of vyakarana? The purpose of vyakarana is to serve as shabda gyanu janakam. It has to generate the. understanding of words so vyakaranam that has to be one halanta which i missed that which generates that which generates understanding of word is and let's move on can we move forward tatcha sutram that which and that that which generates understanding of words is sutram tatcha sutram and that is the body of sutra so what is the body of sutra uh, it it calls it vyakarana sya shariram so what is the sharira of vyakarana that means what are the limbs of the vyakarana hands feet etc etc what constitutes what formulates व्याकरण वृत्त भाष्य तथा नाम धातु पारायणादिषु सो धातु पारायण दिस इज द टोटल बॉडी ऑफ द अष्टाध्याय ओके सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द अष्टाध्याय सम टाइम्स लेटर राइट नाउ जस्ट फोकस ऑन द सूत्र वार्तिक भाष्य एंड बियॉन्ड दैट लेट्स गो टू पस्पशानिका लेट्स गो टू पस्पशानिका आई विल आई सर्च फॉर दैट थिंग एंड देन वी विल कम बैक पस्पशानिका ओके लेट्स जस्ट स्टे ऑन दैट वन स्पर्श बंधन स्पर्श तत्र स्पर्शनम ग्रंथनम या Let's go to the 
Okay. So, Paspashanika is what? Paspashanika is the first Anika, the first day session of the Vyakarana Mahabhashya, where the Bhashya takes up all the uh, Vartikas of Katayana as symbol to uh, put something in context, he formulates his own Vartikas. But he doesn't move without any Vartika. There has to be a Vartika. Whether it is Vatanjali's own Vartika or generally uh, Katayana's Vartika. And so the total number of day sessions which he has, you will get your Athashabdhanu Shasanam. So, he presents the entire discussion of the Ashtadhyayi rules, those which Katyayana has offered Vartikas on. 4,200 something something there are Vartikas. There are 3,986 sutras, give and take 14 Shri sutras. But the Bhashya is this just the 4200 uh, Vartikas that the Katayana wrote? No. There may have been many, many more Vartikas that Katayana issued, but Patanjali did not select all of them for discussion or worthy of discussions. So he left out many. But he selected some. People say that Katayana was an antagonist of Panini. No. The Vartikara had a great respect for the Acharya. Everyone had the respect for the Acharya. So does the Patanjali. As I have already shown to you that Tatra Varnana Peke Na Narsake Na Na Bhavitabhyam. There, the Acharya said, Prang Mukham Upavishya, facing east in the Dhyana Mudra. He formulated very carefully the sutras. How could there be even a single nonsense syllable in the Bhashya? That is the extent of respect the Acharya has gotten received from Katyayana and Patanjali. Okay? So Patanjali selected Vartikas. And then he commented on that with illustrations, counter illustrations, and final decisions on the issue. So the Bhasha is formulated on issue. Remember the Shastrasas? There is someone presents the Purva Paksha, then someone comes to the Uttar Paksha, and then someone brings the final decision, the Siddhanta. Okay? So, Paspashanika is, I would say, the brain of the Bhashya. All the issues of substance that Patanjali could think of have been raised in the Paspashanika at the beginning. And that's what we are going to study. So, Atha Shabda Anushasanam. Here begins the Anushasana of word. What kind of a compound is Shabda Anushasana? Shabda Nam Anushasanam, Shabda Anushasanam. Instruction of, instruction about words. Those words are words in usage. Okay? Words in usage which form the focus of analysis of the sutras of Pani. So, the question. Questions, answers, doubts, removal of doubts, illustrations, examples, counterexamples. Hey, this is the Siddhanta, final decision. Okay? The first Anika, the Paspashanika, is dealing with all issues of importance in the philosophy of language and in grammar. 
आई एम बायस टू पस पशाने का टू भाष्य आई नेवर मूव विदाउट भाष्य ऑल दैट इंटायर बुक यू विल वन यू रीड इट यू विल फाइंड हाउ द इनॉर्मिटी द हाइट्स ऑफ थॉट द भाष्य कैन गेट एंड प्लस द इंटरप्रिटेशन आई विल शो यू वेयर I have presented my own interpretation, which is very, very significant in terms of Bhashya. So, begins the Paspashanika, Atha Shabdanu Shasana. Here begins the instruction of words. Question. Kesham Shabdanam, of what words? Lokika Nam, Vedika Nam, Cha. of the laukika classical sanskrit and of the vaidik right and then he moves on 